I'm going to post on our website a report that came from First Trust, which is an investment organization that I value their input from the economic standpoint. So the article talked about time to fear the coronavirus. And it's according to them, frankly, it's amazing to us that the market has been so resilient. Maybe it's because recent history with stocks and viruses is that markets overreact, leading to significant buying opportunities along the way. In over a 38-day trading period during the height of the SARS virus back in 2003, the S&P 500 index fell by 12.8%. And during the Zika virus, which occurred at the end of 2015 and into 2016, the market fell by 12.9%. There's other examples, but um, sufficient to say that the markets have always recovered and hit new highs. Their question, will this happen again? Their view, it's highly probable. And according to Worldometer, which aggregates statistics from health agencies across the world, the total active cases peaked about a week ago at 58,747 and have since been declining. And that's even with all the new cases we're seeing in South Korea, Italy, and Iran, where data is suspect. There have been 30,579 cases with an outcome of 2,699 deaths with 27 1,898 recovered. In other words, the total active cases now stand, and this was as of Monday, 49,923, a drop of 15% from the peak on February 17th. Putting it a little in perspective, according to World Health Organization, in the United States alone for the 2019 and 2020 season, there have been at least 15 million flu illnesses, 140,000 of those required hospitalization, and of those, 8,200 deaths. And their comment is, imagine if everyone with internet connection followed the spread of this annual flu, case by case, hour by hour. From an economic standpoint, revenues and earnings from companies that are highly exposed to China will definitely be affected. China being shut down for a month will have a global impact, but lower earnings in the first half of the year should be made up by strong rebound in the second half of the year with payback from lost months. Demand remains strong, and there has been no visible impact yet on the job market as shown by initial unemployment claims. Supply disruption is the issue. We suggest looking through any earnings weakness as we expect it to be transitionary. The U.S. consumer is on solid footing and will continue to be one of the key drivers in U.S. economic growth in the year to come. We believe, just like all the other viruses we have seen over the past decade that have dissipated the coronavirus, will be no different. Some have suggested that the 1918 Spanish flu, which killed hundreds of thousands in the U.S., could happen again. No one knows, but 2020 is not 1918. Technology and news move much faster, and the U.S. rebounded from the Spanish flu when all was said and done. We suspect that any drop in earnings or economic activity will be short-lived and more than made up for in the year to come. The message, don't panic, stay invested. And as always, if you have any questions regarding your specific situation, please give us a call. Thank you for your business. Look forward to speaking with you.